my god, this is a Nicole. What happened? Oh! Sorry guys, Nicole is busy doing, you know, interesting stuff on a plane coming back from Coachella and I, I'm taking her slot because I won't be able to do a video on Thursday. I'm also introducing this week, which is quite cool, I've never done that before. And this week we're talking about identity because I tricked you all into following me in my weird ass culture studies, so yay! I've been thinking about identity a bit more since my last video and first I want to talk about identity uh, on the internet because we're very much involved with the internet. It's true that it can be called a fragmented identity because basically on each of the different websites we use, even on different outputs on the same website I suppose, for example on different videos on YouTube, we can show ourselves differently and sort of make up different identities because in the end identities are really construction. We can say we are anything we could be and we can be anyone we want really. I think it's why young people love the internet so much because we're still young, we don't know who we are yet and we can try out every possible identity on different different outputs, different websites, different blogs and just find ourselves. But then I kept thinking about that and I wondered do we ever find ourselves? And that's where I link with but that good old Zygmunt Bowman was saying is that basically the postmodern identity really is never fixed because identity is a project, it's the project of becoming and it's true that I personally don't think any of us are working toward a precise goal, we don't know where we're going, we're just always building ourselves a bit more and adding up pieces. I'm a student, I'm a French person, I'm a Londoner, I'm going to be legal soon, I might be something else in the future and it always adds up but I never know where I'm going to end up and it's scary but that's the beauty of life sort of, that you can change and evolve. What I also mentioned in my last video that I thought some of us were trying to make identity more stable because the world is so batshit crazy outside. I really want to like move and see new places and change and evolve. At the same time, I'm really looking for some form of stability because I really need some things to hold on to, otherwise I'm just going to sink really. But what can you hold on to when the world is changing and everyone is changing? That's a mystery I wish I could solve. Another topic I won't be able to cover today. Changing and being abroad. Nicole and Emily, do you think you've changed being abroad? Do you feel some deep changes? I personally don't I've changed, but I don't know how and how much. I, I can't realize it yet. And I'm not going to go enjoy my cookie while watching Game of Thrones. Yay! Brittany, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!